What's going guys, Zenos here and today in this video of Air of Light guys, I am just actually gonna talk about the new revelation that I have just found out guys. This is just too insane, alright? I was so shocked to just see this one and I feel like it's pretty much unfair to like the old players like us. Like, oh my god, I just created a new account in the in the in the in the global version so that like I can actually look forward for like other players who like how on their builds really are, how their gears really are, especially like following my mentor Asian, okay? <laughs> and then like I came to know about like you guys, I mean like the beginners actually start with the two five star net units, which was not the case before. This is just too insane. I mean like you are getting two 5 star net servants, one DPS, one tank. Uh, DPS being the water mill red, which is really, really amazing DPS servant, not only for the PvE contents, but even for the PvP content. And she is actually causing a mayhem, and that's really great. And on the best part, you are actually getting Lucretia as the tank whenever you are making a summon. And any sort of Lucretia, whether it be forest, fire, or water, they all are just too insane, okay? You are getting S tier units just like that for free? Like what? <laughs> this is just a really big revelation for me guys. I mean like this is just too good. Uh, especially for the beginners who are really looking forward to really make a good uh, standing or let's say a good start in this account. I mean like in this game it's just too good guys. And especially for the people who are actually re-rolling as well. This is just too insane. Wow. I mean like wow really like this is just too amazing guys okay so I was just following up through you know <laughs> the ba the basic tutorial and then like I was like huh what's the like what is it like I actually did not follow up the update or any sort of like notice that Air of Light actually like how to say this like published okay but <laughs> I somehow managed to actually skip on this one I don't know how but that was pretty like sad I mean like Wow, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised today. I'm like, for you guys, this is just too amazing. And then like, when you are making a progress in the game, I'm like, through the game guide and like the quest and stuff like that, you are actually going to get a lot of summon stones, especially the five star select summon ticket, guys. Two times five star select summon ticket, which is just too good, which is just too really great. Okay, that is pretty amazing. Really, really amazing. So you are already getting a team of five star servants because like, uh, two servants, you are already getting it for free uh, as soon as we start the game and the rest of the two servants You are actually gonna get through the five star select summon of your choice, which is just too insane I mean like you can already start to make a really ideal team of yours guys, okay? I mean like, getting a water Mildred and a Lucretia right off the bat really gives you a very tremendous advantage Which is just too great and when you are actually going to finish this cult state Okay, the one that I'm actually uh, battling right now these tiles that are near the central tiles of the map or let's say the world or let's say the region Oh my god or the explorer <laughs> You are actually gonna get a free forest A Sphinx as well. That will make a total of three free to play five star net servants, guys. Okay, and if you really manage to even like pull off the shards of the fire Zeta, there you go, guys. You already have four five star net servants. Like, what in the hell is happening? This is just too insane. I mean, like, for beginners, I mean, like, for free to play players, oh my god, this game is just actually leveling up to a such state that this is really unfathomable, guys. I mean, like, this is really great. I mean, like, I still look on, I still keep on picking on my Summoner's War account, and then, like, guess what, guys? I always get so mad that, like, I still have not been able to pull a single 5 star net unit in my Summoner's War account for the entire 3 to 4 year of the uh, gacha pulls, guys. And that has actually been really, how to say, like, really irritating me, like, what? I mean, like, how can such a game really exist, okay? And for me right out here in the air of light, guys, I mean, like, as soon as we start, you are actually gonna make sure that you have at least, like, four to six five-star net uh, servants free to play, just like that. That is just a really great idea, guys. So... I mean, like, I just want to say that, like, if you guys are a beginner, I'm mean, like, bravo, congratulations, guys. This is just too insane, just really too good. You are seeing, like, that, like, Forest A Sphinx is right out there to be collected, <laughs> which is just too great. Okay, so, uh, 
Guys, anyways, I have already made a guide on how to reroll your account. If you guys are not really that, uh, how to say this, like, um, sure of how to really reroll your account, especially like on the current session where you are actually gonna receive a two. Five star net summon turn because of the update reward that is 3.11 version update reward right that's you are supposed to get and then you are now actually receiving as a beginner a total up to eight five star net servants for free holy crap just look at that i mean like amazing amazing just look at it guys get one free five star select summon ticket at a day 14. <laughs> This is just great. It was it was never the case when I actually started this game, guys. I started this game nearly like two years ago, and oh my god, uh, compared to the two years ago and then of now, the things have really changed drastically. This is just amazing. Just look at that, guys. I'm like, two five star summon tickets are just right out there for me to actually grab that out. And <laughs> Oh my god, okay, okay, I will summon first and I will actually gonna show you like what sort of items I'm actually gonna get and how OP I am actually gonna get right off the bat, okay? Just look at it guys, okay? I already have one DPS, 5 star net DPS, that is Water Miller. I already have a tank that is Water Lucrecia, which is one of the really amazing tank out there. And whenever I pull a Spiegel, I always cringe, but Forest Spiegel right now has got a really good update and he has been actually buffed, okay? That's really great. Let's try to pull a really good tank maybe. Oh no, maybe healer or support, okay? <laughs> Just give me a good support. I think that's a tank, okay? That's a water, what well, should be water, water, water Carmilla. Yes, water Carmilla, okay? So that's a good tank right out there. I can actually make a really good pull right out here. <laughs> oh man, okay. That's a uh, Marat, okay? So uh, just for beginners, guys, for, uh, just for a beginner version, like I will actually gonna show you, like uh, if you are actually gonna end up with a really good uh, servant, then what are you supposed to do? Like how do you actually uh, make a really good progress in this game? Uh, how do you like basically set Oh, what? Oh my God. I've actually never made a pull where I actually got like three, four standard servants. That's good, that's great actually. I mean, like, if all, if it only would have like ended up with like one five star net seven, that would have been amazing. Oh my god! Please, five spiegel. Please, 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 please. Oh my god! Uh, did I get a forest spiegel again? Yes, yes. There we go. <laughs> oh my god! This is just too amazing. Ah, oh, Jesus, that's good. Oh my god, that's really great. That's really great. That's really great. Okay, so I can just go into my servant uh, section right out here. And you can see right off the bat, guys, the main DPS that I would really want to choose right now obviously would be a Water Mildred. This is not only good for the PvE content, but also for the PvP content. If you are really asking, like, what is a PvE content? PvE content is usually a general in-game content, which you can actually just uh, play it anytime, having fun, without any limitation, okay? Uh, you only just need to use some carrots, okay? That's uh, that one. And PvP contents are usually the one that you have to uh, battle against like other players right out there playing the similar game in the similar server or maybe in the global infinite PvP where you are actually gonna battle against the opponents from the different server. That is... That, 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 that is pretty much it, guys, okay? And, okay. First of all, okay, so right out there. So my main target would be a Water Mildred, right? She is actually the one that I would really want to choose to be my main damage dealer machine right now. So according to the real, I mean like the recent update, what's gonna happen is that now, I'm actually gonna get a free one times instant six star evolve item. That is great, which is actually gonna star up any unit, even if it's a three star unit right out here, even this guy will actually be able to go into six star right off the bat without uh, going into like four, four star or five star, okay? Directly into six star. That actually makes it a very OP item, especially for the beginners. Well, as the game progresses on, guys, because of the fusion system, instant evil item, you know, like it actually goes out of fashion, but for beginners, it is actually a really great, great, great item, guys, okay? So I'm just gonna use it on my water miller right out here, which usually most of the uh, you know like beginners would really love to do. And guess what's gonna happen? She's now actually gonna go into 
a six star mode okay that's really awesome that's really awesome guys that's really awesome and you might be thinking like oh should i be using the instant awakening item so that i can awaken this one uh girl right over here well you can do that or you can just actually wait her to get into like second awakening first and then after that you can actually choose her to get into the third awakening because that's the best way to actually use your uh, instant awakening item because like in uh, starting from the third awakening guys you will be asked to uh, invest supreme awakening stones which you really won't be able to farm for uh, quite a while if you are a beginner guys I'm like if you are really starting a new account oh my god uh, <laughs> if you are not a uh, pay to win player then guys you are actually gonna spend a lot of time grinding making your servants really good so that you can uh, fight in the 11th floor and 12th floor of the awakening dungeon to get the supreme awakening stone and that can actually really take you a lot of time well according uh long story short <laughs> <laughs> it's really not a good thing to actually awaken her right away okay I'll just try to save it right off the bat and then like when you actually get her into like second awakening which can actually take you some some days maybe one or two days maybe okay but if you are really farming really good then maybe two days <laughs> and then you will be able to get her into like uh second awakening okay you can actually get the awakening materials from the uh quest as well just go into the water a water quest and then in the water quest you will be able to get a lot of water awakening stones okay and you can use those awakening stones in order to awaken your water mill rate into the uh, second awakening and then just use the instant evolve item to awaken her from the second stage to the third stage and that's how it should be going okay and that's all there is to it guys that's all there is to it and now let's get into the gears you are actually gonna give uh, you are actually gonna be given like six gears right <laughs> so uh guys right out here so let's try to get into the gears okay uh what sort of gears should you think i should really give to my water mill rate well, it would be Havoc, okay? Havoc gear would actually really fit on her really nicely, okay? That would actually really give really good, uh, you know, like damage output, uh, you know, like a more uh, advanced feature for her, okay? So that is really great, okay? So just try to get all the Havoc gear set and of all the uh, parts, okay, gear parts, and then just try to do it, okay? Right out there, just like this, okay? Havoc. Uh, this one no 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 not the necklace and the ring because you won't be able to get the necklace and the ring at this moment because you will need to awaken your water mill red into third awakening and the fifth awakening to unlock your necklace and your ring respectively okay so that's the scenario right over here just I will just go with the pants right now okay and then after that you know like the basic uh, set of gears okay that you will be provided at the very beginning of the phase where you are actually provided the servant okay now at this phase guys what are you supposed to pick when you actually get the gloves okay please try to go with the attack person this boost okay this will actually make more sense <laughs> okay right now because like you will be actually looking forward for really high damage and in the havoc uh, what sort of stats should I really go with okay for right now guys I would really love to go with the critical damage But instead of critical damage well that would actually be a little bit waste because like you really need to have a lot of really good basic stats So instead of going into the critical damage, I would love to go with the critical rate Yes, uh, when you are actually in the mid game content or the late game content where you are actually able to get a lot of conversion stones Super enhance and stuff like that in that case of scenario you can go with the critical damage okay in that case because uh, in your uh, additional stats or your substats, that will be the time that you will be able to make up your critical rate with the substats. But as a beginner, you will be struggling a lot to get a very decent critical rate on your stats, okay? You should be actually looking forward for at least 85% of the critical rate from your gears, okay? Because obviously you will be getting 15% critical rate right off the bat when you are starting with a DPS servant, okay? So there we go. Just go with the critical rate and it will really make your life pretty much easier to uh, land a critical hit on a opponent whenever you are dealing a damage. And that makes a really lot of sense, isn't it? Okay, so that's the thing right on there. And now, done right out here guys all you need to do is just equip uh <laughs> equip all right equip uh equip uh here we go equip and here we go equip again wow wasn't that easy wasn't that easy i've got some gold right out here but the gold doesn't seem really that 
amazing okay but hey guys i mean just have patience uh in due time due to the events you will be getting millions of gold yes you heard me right you will be getting uh, millions and tons and tons of gold please just be patient uh just keep on uh you know like be observant okay just keep your eyes open for the upcoming events and just see like what sort of rewards they do provide and usually they are really good at providing really good amount of gold okay and guess what guys another thing in this game is that like the enhancing of the gear is just too easy it's freaking easy it really doesn't really waste your time your time is very valuable in this game this game really is actually focusing towards uh, you know like resources uh, management so that like you are actually gonna get for what you have actually uh, able to get especially for what you have paid okay uh, even for free to play player like me I mean like this game is so fair indeed okay I mean like I have never have got any complaints about this game this game has really been able to really uh, shock me and actually uh, uh, amaze me all the time and providing so many quality of life and so many other features that actually is what's supposed to be really pretty much a premium uh, content in most of the games like let's say epic 7 uh, you know, like so many other games, like Summoner's War, especially Summoner's War. I don't know, like, what that game is really thinking about itself, but damn, oh damn, it is never actually looking forward to change its strategy of being a P <laughs> pay to win game, guys. I mean, like, I really have no idea what it's really trying to say. I'm like trying to really, uh, really prove out there, but, anyways, uh, for the Air of Light, guys, the things are pretty much different right out here. Uh, you're actually gonna get a lot more uh, experience and a lot more uh, how to say this like I mean like wonderful experience a nice gaming experience and a lot of fun time uh, compared to any other RPG game out there it's 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 really how to say like satisfying okay I mean like your satisfaction level will be really high in this game that is pretty much guaranteed okay <laughs> <laughs> that's what I can actually say to you guys so there we go that's how you are supposed to enhance your weapons okay for right now plus six plus six plus six and this is actually gonna really affect her growth score right out here that is 1714 okay for the normal summons right out here it is like 8858 uh, but as uh, soon as I get her like you know uh, get her to the first awakening and then like I will uh, start to you know like awakenings right over here and then like when I start to like enhance her to level 60 and that is the time that she's actually gonna be so amazing okay that will be time that she is gonna be too good okay so uh, well that's it and done guys I mean like this is pretty much how you are supposed to start okay try to go and try to get a lot of gears like this one it really doesn't make any sense because right now you're actually getting a one of the really amazing games uh, gears out of the game right out there it's just like this okay and uh, well just to start this one just look at at this guys I mean like uh, you are a beginner and this is how you are supposed to actually you know how to say this like start the game <laughs> this is just too uh, you know like how to say like uh, I mean like I mean like I find it like oh my god I mean like this is a really good platform for the beginners to actually start the game like what oh man just look at that I mean like just look at that that is insane okay that's great and uh, well the tutorial right now it seems like it has been more improved than uh, that of before uh, the tutorial that I actually used to uh, face or like I used to have was pretty much uh, not really that properly how to say like uh, you know like how to say like um, uh, you know like thought out or plan out okay so this is how I can actually use it I can actually go with another tank or I can just use it like two units just like that okay so there we go I like I have three DPS units and then like I have one tank unit and that's how I'm actually gonna roll out <laughs> oh man that's really great uh, this feels really good this feels really good oh and you can actually skill lock your uh, you know like how to say like your servants so that like you can actually have more really good access okay really good uh, you know like how to say like some management on your skills that's really great uh, the tutorial has actually been improved which is pretty a uh, really great news as well that's really great uh, that's the thing right out there guys wow right out here guys the new air growth missions is one that will also really reward you with the five star select summon ticket guys right out here look at this one this is the one that you really need okay and it will only require you seven days of very hard work and then like after that seven days you will be receiving a free 
5 star select summon ticket through the new air growth mission and you will be getting another really good item through login guys just log in at the day for uh, login for like every day and in the 14th day you will be getting another 5 star select, select summon ticket which will really allow you to pick any summon out there uh, in the game except for the light and dark version obviously because they are really premium contents in this game <laughs> but after we have forest water fire servants are pretty much amazing guys it's just too good the way you can actually you know how to say like uh, make a selection right out there oh my god did you just see that okay 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 right out here guys just look at that okay that's how you are actually gonna get one five star net unit uh i'm like two five star net unit uh of the select summon ticket and you are getting another five star select summon ticket uh right away because like obviously I just get a first six star achievement reward because of that instant evolve item and I will be getting a first five star summon stone just like that holy crap another five star net seven and I'll be getting another five star net seven through here as well at the 14th day in the 14th day guys you are not only receiving a five star select summon ticket but you are also gonna get a five star summon stone that is a dps stone which is one of the really best item in the entire game which is just insane i mean like i just cannot believe how this game has really become so generous oh my god okay so this is the best time to actually reroll this is how you are supposed to really look out for the reroll and everything right out there guys and uh, if you really do have, still have like really good, uh, you know, like idea, I'm like, uh, you know, like how to say this, uh, <laughs> a question on how to really delete, uh, I mean, like reroll, just go into the delete account, okay? I mean, like just go into like a main uh, menu, just uh, click on this gear icon on the top left corner okay and then just at the left bottom part okay you can see right over there it says cross delete account okay in this one you can actually delete your account all you need to do is just enter okay the main keyword right out there okay and delete now d e l e t e and o w now okay so if you just do that uh, I mean like it's case sensitive okay so really make sure that like the D and the N <laughs> are pretty much capitalized letters okay and then this is how you are supposed to delete your account and you can actually go and log in again and then you will be starting new again I mean like this is so great I mean like uh, to start with I don't even feel like there is any need for re-rolling in this game because you are already provided one of the really best seven right out there in the game right up the bat I mean Walter Millard and the uh, Lucrecia and you are already getting get a forest a sphinx which is also really gonna be so good in the PvP contents by clearing out the cold state you're getting far zeta from the uh uh, Explorer tiles, you're actually gonna get two five star select common tickets uh, within the 14 days of interval. You're also gonna get a uh, uh, what is that like five star uh, tank support healer uh, stone just at the seventh day reward. And with the 14 day reward, you're also gonna get a five star DPS select summon as uh, five star DPS summon stone. Like, what the. <laughs> This is just too great, but I really want to change the server, okay? I just want to change the server to global, maybe, okay? And let's see what it's actually gonna do. Uh, log into the select server, data is not shared between the servers. Like, okay, hell yeah, yes. <laughs> oh, man, okay, so this is how it really looks like well uh this is pretty much for it guys i mean like this is uh, this is how you are supposed to actually start your account uh, make a really good uh, access on your account and you know like with all a lot of features okay so this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel see you guys in the next video